kabla ikoje kujengwa tulikuwa na shida nyingi sana kitambo watu walikuwa wanakufa kweli wakirivuka ngambo ile Under a devolved system of governance, Kenya has achieved key milestones from building critical projects all geared towards improving the lives of its citizens and lowering the cost of living. <laughs> the latest project funded by the national government to a tune of 816 million shillings is the Mbita Bridge. The bridge which was officially opened by President Uhuru Kenyatta has been billed as a game changer for trade and tourism. Lakini sisi maendeleo tutaendelea na Hey, kwani kwa namna gani bwana? The Mbita Bridge will not only ease transportation of goods, it is also expected to open up more business opportunities for residents who had been locked out from the mainland. Tumesikia poa sana. Wakati wa mvua tuna tulikuwa na shida kupita kupita maji na pikipiki. Hata watu watu walikuwa wanatembea, walikuwa na shida sana. Tambo samaki hazikuwa na movement juu pale ilikuwa ime imekuwa ime block sasa hii it's open in that samaki ya mfangano zinaweza kukutana na hii side nyingine ya Rwanda so there's that movement of samaki ilikuwa na shida nyingi za, za usafiri uh, kupitisha kupitisha ile ngambo nyingine uh, wasafiri ilikuwa ilikuwa tatizo hata kukuja huku rusinga ukitoka maeneo ya mbita lakini kwa sasa imekuwa kitu kizuri this bridge is bringing in um, a lot of um, um, good tidings in that um, the lake now is safe it's free water can be able to pass vessels can be able to pass trade now between the different base is is, is going to be enhanced and now the bridge is available for people who are now crossing over between Bita Point and uh, Lusinga Island. And I'm happy to inform the public that uh, the completed project is now completed, uh, though with uh, slightly with a lapse time. But I think that is not uh, that is not really uh, a big issue. I think the key issue is we now have a major kind of modern bridge connecting the two points. Tourism is also among one of the biggest beneficiaries of the area, thanks to the construction of the bridge. We have big vehicles, we have buses, we have everything. So I would see actually in the students going to school, uh, economic activities within the exchange between the two, the highland and so on. So the highlands actually has opened up in terms of opportunities, uh, especially economic activities within the area which can be able actually to transport to the mainland as well as sort of mainland which can be able to reach to the other side. So I'm seeing that one as, as, as a key kind of success. And uh, actively, actually, if you can look at it in terms of uh, trade and, and all those kind of facilitation between the two points, I'm sure within the last three, four months, there must be a lot of, uh, uh, I mean, increase in economic activity in the area. Uh, we used to have problems in getting guests to come through this way because one of the major issues of the road is bad. So uh, um, businesses should be too low. And uh, I can say that uh, from that time that the roads have been done, at least um, uh, we have we have experienced um, uh, good development. Hapa itakuwa kama Japan. Junaona ata street lights itakuwa, watale watakuwa, kila mutu, that movement itakuwa. Hakuna kulala, ukilala ni sauri yako. Lusiga Island is one of the very, very beautiful islands we have in this country. Tourism in Lusiga Island really is a big issue. And of course, you know, tourists and as many people uh, uh, look at issues, they also want to see to it that whatever you're doing is environmentally friendly. So we expect that we are going to realize a lot of tourism uh, in, that, uh, in that area. And we also expect that maybe people are going to take up the, the challenge and uh, put up um, um, a lot of developments and resorts in the island. And that will certainly bring about a lot of resources which surpasses what we have actually put in there. So far, since the bridge became operational, a number of traders have enjoyed booming business, which they say has improved their livelihoods. Okay. 
na wenye wanatumia samaki kwa, cha, kwa kukula. Naomba serikali kama hii daraja walitumia pesa mingi hivyo ikuwe too strong juu sisi tulikuwa watu wa mikono tumeona imesimama lakini isituletee shida e, mzuri naye natusaidia tena imetuacha kama tume tuko na cash kiasi ingawa kuna ukame you may be looking at the cost of the bridge but you're not looking at the, the income that is going to be realized from the from the fact that now water can be able to flow both, way, both ways and therefore now enhance the marine life which then can also assist the people in addition to the fact that now even trade because now that course we actually had prevented the way you actually close from this end to the other end sure. now that it is open so the trade between uh, along the the, rake, the the shores of the lake is also going to be enhanced over the last three four years a lot of work has gone into infrastructure in fact part of the budget which is close to about 770 billion is actually going to infrastructure docket and that again shows the importance in which if we have to build up any kind of industrial tech of any kind of uh, any social economic kind of tech of in future we must have a base we can be able to support those kind of base water vendors and long distance transport companies have also reported an increase in the number of trips made as a result of the bridge and access roads it has reduced the cost of doing business and improved their earnings. We expand business, we end up bank, we take a loan, we find a hotel around, another shop maybe. Yeah. To kill the nation, I can't stand. Yet it will require a shida, ukienda soko, atufiki apa kuwa yani in time. Lazima sasigine to kai mekuama, biti mekuama ni yani. Lakini tangu itengeneza hii barabara, tukuna uhuru. Kila, kila kitu inakuja katika nini saya kilinyewe. Hii daraja venye ilianza kujengwa. Nilikuwa. Na mimi niliokati ya wale fundi. Wenye walikuwa watu wa mikono. Wakati walikuwa wanaijenga. Kujenga hii kitu haikuwa tu raisi hivo. 11 meters wide. And it's... His height can allow as high as an 80 meters vessel. The clearance to, to, from the water is 8 meters. So meaning it can be able to clear, to, to allow many vessels to actually pass out. So it's a major, major bridge. Ningependa pia kuhimiza watu ambita na pamoja na rusinga, pamoja na wakaaji. Tukuje kuhitunza, ni yetu. Within the next two, three years, you luckily feel the major kind of impact. But already people from Northeastern, people from uh, Taita, people from Mombasa eh, County, people from Malindi, they are already feeling the kind of impact in which the new roads are bringing into their day-to-day in day -day kind of lives. Standing at over 100 meters above sea level is this majestic piece of infrastructure, the Mbita Causeway Bridge, that stretches close to 160 meters and is expected to ease transportation in this part of the county. The workmanship on the bridge has been termed as world class as it involved complex engineering at a waterway. Some of the key features include a passage clearance of 8 meters to lake vessels adequate for transport and fishing boats. With fishing being the mainstay of residents of Mbita, the social economic benefits derived from the bridge are a welcome relief. Concerns over whether the bridge will have this any environmental impact remains a controversial subject. Catch this in part two of the story of the Mbita Causeway. Abiyagina, KTN News.